G'day everyone, Master Rabbit back for another gameplay and unboxing video for Nintendo Game & Watch. So this is going to be the last video from the series of the Game & Watch Silver series, which were the first Game & Watches released by Nintendo in 1980. So these ones here, as basically you've seen in the videos before, uh, I've already shown you Ball, Flagman, Vermin, Fire, and today we're going to be looking at Judge. Now, Judge, why is there two of them? Basically, they were released at the same time and pretty much exactly the same, but in different color. So I'm just going to bring them up onto the screen so you can see both of them like that. Okay, so that is Judge. Now, both of these uh, Game & Watches were released at the same time. Okay, they were released uh, on October the 4th, 1980. Okay, and uh, as always, released by Nintendo. And here, let me show you the. I'll show you pretty much the boxes side by side. Uh, so the side, the, the actual name, and even serial number IP05, and even the code one eight. Uh, sorry, five eight zero zero. All exactly the same. Okay, so pretty much they were just released. Maybe uh, well, if you think about it, just in two different colors. Okay. Uh, and that's it. So that is it. So what I'll do is, of course, I'm, I'll show you both of them, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll, game, I'll do a gameplay only for one. Okay, so let's say we'll start and have a look at the green judge. Okay, so uh, as always, I, I, try, I always try and get my Game & Watches in the best possible shape. Looks like uh, the, game, the green judge is a little bit on the wear and tear side for the box, but still pretty good shape. Uh, serial number is here. Normally they match. Hopefully they do. This one does, I believe. If not, um, that's what, what no normally you do if you do get a Game & Watch and you are a collector. You make sure you try and get the boxes and the Game & Watches that also match with the serial number serial number on the back. Okay, so that is... Uh, let's have a look at the uh, foam. So the foam is in pretty good shape for the green uh, judge, as you can see here. It's a silver series, as mentioned before. So as always, while I'm opening while I'm opening this up, I'll give you a quick rundown. Of course, the Game & Watches were released in, by Nintendo in 1980 up until 1991. Okay, so the Silver Series are the ones I'm actually going to be showing you now. Uh, this is the Game & Watch, of course, in general, so I'll put that back down. Now, the Game & Watches in general were released in 1980 to 1991, and the first of the Silver Series did not have an alarm. So this one here, once we get to the next series, they will have alarms, and I'll show you exactly what they are and how they work, basically. But this one here will only have a time, and you'll see that in action when I put the batteries in and show you how it plays. Now, with Judge, it is a little bit of a complicated game to explain, actually. It might sound, it might look easy, it might sound easy, but for, comp for explanation reasons, it's quite hard, it's quite uh, hard to explain. And, and you will see the uh, when I do explain the instructions... Uh, in qu quickly uh, for you and to the best of my knowledge as well. Okay, so this one here, uh, this is the instru uh, This is like the little uh, yellow leaflet for the ACL, which I've always shown in the past. Okay, this one here is how you reset the Game & Watch. You know, you can press that little button there and I'll show you actually on the screen as well uh, when, you, when I have the Game & Watch in my hand on how that works. Now, reset is pretty much shows you everything uh, on the screen, all the little images that appear, all the little animations that potentially can appear, and then after that you press time or one of, one of the two games and the game will play. Normally you use that for resetting purposes. This one here basically is another uh, little leaflet which we, which I got with uh, Judge, which basically means this is a two-player game. To play the two-player game you must press the two. Okay, game A and game B are different in this game, and that's what I'm going to be explaining a little bit further down. But if your English is good, if your Japanese is good, you can read that and you'll know exactly what it means. Okay, uh, this is the instruction manual. Here we are. This is the green version, as I said. The green version comes with green, and of course the purple one will have a purple color. Okay, so let's judge our IP05. Okay, so this one here is the instructions. We'll go through them quickly, and as I was mentioning before, Nintendo uh, did release all the Game & Watches, and they were uh, created by game developer Gunpei Yokoi. Okay, so that, and also just to let you know as well, the machine, normally the Game & Watches were created with a 4-bit CPU with a Sharp SM5XX family, which had a small ROM, and of course used an LCD display. Okay, so here on the screen is the instructions on what you see when you do reset or when you play the game. It basically gives you all the information, all the details, 
what game A is, what game B is, what the time is, what the AC, where the ACO is. This one had two buttons, and as I'm going to explain to you, this is a two-player game more so than a one-player game. You can also play with two players as well, so you can have a lot. You can have a bit of fun with two players in this game. But of course, you can still do uh, the game with one player, and it's quite challenging as well. This one here shows you how to put the batteries in. Okay, and. On this side here, this is where it starts explaining how the game works. Okay, we've got the ACL, as I mentioned before, the, uh, the buttons on the left, the right, which basically were hit and avoid, and the same on the other side too. Now, on here, as you can see, I will leave this on the screen. If anyone wants to pause, you can re... Oh, I'll get my thumb out of the way. Okay, so if anyone wants to pause, pause right now and read if you're good at Japanese. So this one here explains to you how game A works. Now, as you can see, this is quite lengthy. I ha Normally, instructions were not that lengthy. Now, this is a really, really complicated game. Once we start, I will try and explain it to the best of my ability how you play this game. And the way I'm gonna do it is probably play it in game two mode, which game two mode is two player mode, okay? So this is, we'll get through these instructions. And as always, here is the best way to play it, okay? At a 40 degree angle, leaving a bit of five degree off to the side, but just in case you get a bit of glare on the screen. And that's it. So that's the judge information and book, the user book and manual, okay? So as always, there's more games in the, uh, in the series, as you can see in front of us. And that's it, so I'm gonna put that down. And what I'll do is I'll test this one, but <clears throat> then I'll do is I'll show I'll open up the purple one and we'll play on the purple one. Okay, now there's no difference. This will work as well, um, and I'm going to show you that. Okay, the screen is not in the best shape, but it's in pretty good shape. It does work. There's the serial number and also on the back the model number and rating battery made by Nintendo in Japan. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put the batteries in the clasp. Take that out battery and battery and you'll hear a little clip okay done all right so once we go back onto here that is pretty much the reset screen really it's funny because this one here doesn't show a lot um, compared to the other ones that we've seen um, and it's quite a simple game when it comes to animation not too complicated so we've got two mr. game and watches holding a mallet okay now as always we got the time up the top which is hour and minute. Now to change the hour, e either of those two buttons, okay, so we can go to five, and then this one here will also move the hour, so let's say we'll make it 10 o'clock, and on this side we can make it maybe 15, so you can use either of these two buttons, okay, so we'll make it 10, 15, okay, so once we've done that, all we've got to do is press time, and that will get the Game & Watch to start playing on its own. As always, the Game & Watches will have a little game that they play on their own when you are not playing. Okay, so that's basically like a little demo that does play on its own as the time moves on. Now, as always, as mentioned before, in the next series onwards, in the Gold series and moving forward in 1981, um, they, all the Game & Watches had an alarm. Okay, so I, I've, I basically, I think I showed that one in the last video for Fire, and moving forward, when I do show you the other videos for the Gold series, onwards, there you will see an alarm system too. Okay, so you can set the alarm and then the alarm will go off at a specific time. Now, as always, you've got the ACL, which I mentioned before. Okay, and these buttons here, when you're playing in two players, uh, when you're playing in two-player mode, uh, one person uses these buttons, the other person uses these buttons and basically you, you're controlling one of these two Mr. Game & Watches. Okay, so on this side here, you'll be using this side and you'll be hitting, that's the hit button and that is the avoid button. Okay, and as always, game A, you'll be playing against the computer. Okay, game B, you'll be playing against a friend. Okay, so that's it. So what I'll do is I'll put this down and we'll quickly run over to the purple Game & Watch which is the purple judge, of course, and I'll take the batteries out of this one and we'll play on the Game & Watch for purple. Okay, so we'll close this up, put him down, and as always, just want to show you the unboxing for both of them because people might want to see what is the difference in the purple one compared to the green one, and you'll soon find out that there isn't much apart from the color. Okay, and of course the instructions which are in purple.
Okay, here's the serial number as well. And take that out, put that on there. Okay, so this one here, foam is in pretty good shape. I think it's in better shape than the other one. So, yep, yeah, it looks good. Okay, and the plastic as well is in pretty good shape as well. And the instruction manual. So here you go, the instruction manual. I'm actually missing the other one, which basically the purple one, and that basically means, of course, the, um, oh yeah, sorry, I think it was green. I think it was the other color. The other color that basically said uh, the two player mode. This is the ACL, which is exactly the same. Now, I'm not gonna skip, I'm not gonna show you everything, okay? But as you said, as I basically said before, this is purple for the front of the purple judge, okay? Instructions are exactly the same, okay? So I'll quickly run through, just quickly flip through, okay? Exactly the same. But the colors, as you can see, the color has been made into a purple color for the purple version of uh, judge. This is, these instructions look a little bit, I think are in better shape than the other one. But as you can say, as you can see here, purple compared to green. Okay, and that's it. These are the instructions, all good to go. All right, so well, let's put the batteries in and let's have a game. Okay, so here it is once again, as, as, as explaining with the green one, model number is exactly the same. Everything is and is exactly the same and the silver of course the silver is for the silver series and the purple color of course is the only differentiation between the green oh, let me hold them in my hands why not we're here we'll have a quick look yeah purple and green they look exactly the same no difference at all and they'll play exactly the same way so there you go all right so I'll put the, the green one down and we'll play with purple all right so Put the batteries in once again. Now, what I might do is actually, um, all right, put that in, and done. So, what I might do in this situation, I might actually, while I'm while I'm playing the game, I'll play it actually in two-player mode. Okay, in two-player mode, um, it will actually explain to you how the game. I'll do the best I can and explain to you how this game works in two-player mode because in, in one-player mode, you don't have a lot of time to kind of explain because things happen pretty quickly because you have a timer and um, in that timer you've got to quickly react so it's while I'm playing and talking it might be confusing so anyway so let's let's go play uh, let's play in two player mode so that 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 means if I do make a mistake or don't do anything we're not going to get penalized for it okay so we'll press B all right so let's start let's start uh, <laughs> slowly so you saw that little timer drop okay and you saw that those flags appear on top of their head so those or if you want to call them banners or little cards appear on top of their head now when the timer drops you basically you it's like a what three two one go sort of thing so when that happens the number that appears above the respect or the, you know the respective game and watch mr. game and watch that person has to react accordingly okay so for example see that one there number six on this guy here he had to hit, and this guy here had to move out of the way. So same in this situation as well. So this guy here, because he's a five and that guy's got an eight, he has to get out of the way. But in, in, in this case, once again, he has to get out of the way and he has to hit. Now, one thing you've also got to notice that each each movement or each thing that happens has repercussions in, in, in the score as well. So for example, if um, I hit him now, there you go, I just did that. And I got three points okay so that's basically not all the points work the same way so for example if I avoid I get two points if I'm the person like that if I'm the person who actually got that score correctly I actually avoid and get out of the way but then I'm also pen penalized if I'm the one who actually has the highest score like that, and I get out of the way, I'm penalized because I should have actually got that score myself, but I mis made a mistake, and that person now got two points, okay? Now, the game is really complicated. There's another way of also doing it. So, for example, nine and four, as a, no, the next one here, let's say, for example, we both hit at the same time, okay? They also, they both get, if they're both the same numbers, they both get a point. Now, if you, if you hit at the same time again, let's say, for example, the person who actually made the mistake gives the other person five points. So basically, the three and the eight. If the three hit the eight, and then the eight hit the three, the, this guy here would, would actually give that person five points. 
and it, it is a really complicated game when it comes to scoring. So I hope what I've just explained makes a little bit of sense. Um, if not, try and re you know replay what I've just basically said. This is the best I can actually say on how this game works. It is really tricky, and that's why those instructions were quite lengthy. So at, let me move on, and we'll show you how you're meant to play it. So for, for example, I, that was a seven, and that was a five. I hit him and got and before he moved out of the way. But if I do that. That person gets a point as well because that person was not meant to hit. He was actually meant to move out of the way, just like that. Okay, so he survived and he got the point. But then you've got to do it quickly enough, like that guy hitting him, he gets the point, And as you can see, their points are moving upward. Now, the, the, actual, point, uh, the actual point of the game is basically to get to 100 first. Once you get to 100, the game will end. Okay, so that is the point of this game. So the game basically does not have a 999 score or a 9999 score. It has a, a up to 99 or pretty much 100. Once you get to that, the person who gets to 100 will win. So the game can actually be quite lengthy as well. So there you go. So I've got that guy and I hit him in the head. And as you can see, it does make more sense when you're playing in two-player mode. See, I got out of the way and got and got two points for doing that. So as I, as I was explaining, this game in game game B is always running at a little bit of a slow, like three, two, one, pitch, because it go, and, and it happens. And you've got a, you've got like a bit of time to react. And if both both of you don't react, as you've been seeing you just it's just nothing happens no one gets penalized and you just move forward that is it that ha this is how the game works in a nutshell now if you want to see how this game works with one player i'm going to do it right now um i'm going to do my best <laughs> to play it now game one is really good in a way of challenging because you've got to be quick you've got to react you've got to move out of the way and not make mistakes if you make mistakes the player, you know, the, the CPU, the computer will get you pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to not talk too much this time. Watch play, watch game play one. Okay, now the way you play with game play one is in one player mode is on this side. Okay, now you don't touch any of the buttons on here because this is only if you play in two player mode. So player one, if you want to call it here, player two here, if you're playing in two players. Okay, so in player one, you only use these buttons here. Okay, so enough of me talking. Now let's watch how you play in game one. I'm not going to go all the way to 100, of course. You'll just see the, the gist of how this game works. Okay, now another thing, I'll, just before I start, is the 3, 2, 1, when you're playing in one player mode, will change. Sometimes it's quicker, sometimes it's slower. And also, just another thing as well, you can also press an attack button ahead of time as a gamble. Um, but sometimes it might not register quickly enough. So you've got to make sure you do it at the right time. You can press it, do it like that, and you can press it quickly. But if you fail, you miss the gamble. That's what it also mentions in the instruction manual. Anyway, so let's go into game one and watch the game. And I'll oh, shut up. <laughs> Be a bit more quiet and watch the game. All right, here we are. All right, so I hit him, which was lucky. But don't worry, I'll make a lot of mistakes. Got out of the way. All right, so now you're kind of getting the gist of it. He hasn't reacted quick enough for, to anything at the moment, which is good. Okay, and I'm and I'm beating him quite well at the moment, eight nil. Okay, I got out of the way. I made a mistake, panicked, and he got two points for doing that. And did you see how the timer went quicker? Okay, I hit him again. I got the point. Okay. Okay, he got out of the way, and I, and I was actually going to get out of the way as well, but he got two points for doing that. So as you can see, that's that's pretty much in a nutshell. Oh, that was too slow. He got out of the way. So the computer is pretty quick as well. Oh, and he got me. So the, he's catching up. So you've really got to concentrate on this. Got me again. It's 11 all. Okay, here we are. Okay, so see how I hit him, and he hit me? And I was 11 and 11. He got five points because that was my mistake. And I got out of the way. Now I'm really wrecking this. Here we are. Next one. And he got me again. So that's really... Now This is, now I'm losing it. <laughs> Started off well. All right. Got him. So I'm back, I'm back on track. So this is pretty much how you play in, in one player mode. So you've got to make sure you've got to... 
Oh, made a mistake again. So he's basically, I'm giving him five points for every single mistake I make. I should be getting out of the way or dodging. And he got me again. Wow, I'm doing a really bad gameplay here. But you can see how the gameplay works. Oh, and he got me again. All right, let's go a bit more. He's getting me really bad. All right, so now you know how the gameplay works. He's working, the, the, the game, wow, everything I'm doing is wrong. But it doesn't matter. This is how the gameplay works. At least you, get, you see it in action. He got me as well, because it was a one point of that one, because they're both on the same score. Oh, wow, I'm doing it really, really bad. Okay, I got out of the way, and he even got a point for doing that. All right, so that is it. Let's see if I can get another couple of points. This is going to be a very one. Oh, wow. Started off good, didn't I? All right, got out of the way, got a point. All right, so that's it. So if you did want to stop playing the game at any time, all you've got to do is press time, and it takes you back into the main menu. All right, so my gameplay on gameplay one was pretty bad, but at least you saw how the gameplay works when you're playing on game one. So it's not it's not complicated, complicated. You just got to concentrate and be quick. It's like got a lot of reaction time to what you're looking at and what you're going to see come up on the screen. Um, and it's fun. And it does take a bit of time to play. Can it, like I said, both of you getting up to nineteen or getting up to ninety nine can be a good challenge. You can probably take up to a couple of minutes for sure to have a full game and a, uh, uh, in general on, on judge. Okay, so uh, hopefully this game was explained as best as possible. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But that's it. So that is all um, I can let you know about the game and watch for judge. Um, I hope I explained it well. Uh, and if not, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try and do my best to explain it moving forward. Now, just to let, give you a, a little bit of a sneak peek for the next games in the series. Now, just to let you know, um, that was it for the Silver Series. Now, the Gold Series were the next ones that came out. Now, the next ones came out, which were Helmet. You'll be seeing that soon in the next, in the next video. I'll just put them and show them quickly on the screen. Manhole. And last one. Lion. Okay, so these three were the next Game & Watches in the series. As, as, as I was mentioning before, uh, you've got, it says, Aramu, which is Alarm. And in the top corner, you've got a little man with an alarm. And every Game & Watch moving forward has an alarm. There is one there. Okay, so that's it. So I won't, I won't talk about the gold, uh, gold ones anymore. And that's it for the Silver Series. Thank you once again for watching this little Quick vi oh, this video was pretty lengthy, about 20 or 22 minutes, 23 minutes in total. But as we said, we've gone through both the videos, uh, both gameplays for, oh, not gameplay, oh, both box unboxing and game play for Judge. So once again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next Game & Watch series. Uh, game & Watch will be the Gold series. Thank you once again for watching. Master Rabbit signing out. See you all soon. Bye.